I needed a belt sander for the shop. So I got this Vibor two inch by 72 inch belt sander. Um, I need a home for it. So I'm not a huge fan of pedestal stands, just not what I like. Um, so I decided to get this Yukon uh, toolbox from Harbor Freight. Um, mount it on the top on one side, then I have a workbench or place to put parts as you're working on them. Um, the only thing is I don't really care for the wheels on these. Um, not very sturdy. Uh, so my plan is I have these style of wheels um, that I've been putting on most of my equipment. Um, they're nice because they're heavy duty and they'll roll around my shop good, but they also have leveling plates. So when it's stationary, you can just, you know, ratchet it up for the wheel, or you can ratchet it down and level out whatever you're working on and get it off of the wheels. And then you have a sturdy uh, place for it. Now, they don't bolt right in, so I figured I would show how I'm going to quickly fix that. Um, if you don't have any of these uh, and you move things around your shop a lot or you're picking a lot of things up different heights, uh, I would recommend uh, getting some. They're wicked handling. Uh, I'm not sure the weight on this. Um, 500 pounds. I'll put a link in the description um, so you guys can check them out if you want. There's different styles, different types. Um, I'll just put a link to the ones I have. because it'll lower the toolbox which will bring the band, uh, the belt sander down um, to a better working height I think it's a little too high as is um, and as you can see the bolt holes obviously don't line up so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some plates um, about this big maybe a little bit bigger um, and I'm going to cut these corners off where the bolts are. Uh, drill holes that match this bolt pattern in the plates. And then weld this directly to the plate. So it'll be one unit. And then that'll bolt right in to the existing uh, spot. Alright, let's get at it. Unfortunately, I don't have the right width plate kicking around the shop. Uh, so I have this two and a half uh, by quarter inch plate. Uh, I needed somewhere between four and five inches. So I'm gonna cut these at three inches, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna weld them together uh, and have four uh, five by three plates that I can uh, drill out and weld onto those uh, like or those feet. Alright, so let's start cutting. Just like that, we got our eight plates. And now I'll clean these up, get them ready to weld together, and start that process. And yes, as always, I know my work area is a mess, but it is what it is. So, normally this would be something good for the belt sander that I can't use at the moment because it doesn't have a home. So, I'm just going to quickly, they're not anything crazy, so I'm just going to file them. Got all 
eight of them filed down, cleaned up, ready to go. So now we'll get them ready to weld together. All right, so I got the four sets paired up. Now we're gonna throw some tacks on them. I got the first one clamped in and let's just do it. out the mounting holes. All right, we'll drill up this one, uh, make sure it fits, and then we'll use this one to mark the other ones. plates made and drilled we're going to cut the bolt holes off of this so that we can weld these to these plates and then bolt them to the toolbox Um, but yeah, alright, till next time guys.